Starting today, the Return to Hong Kong scheme is relaunching. So that means that Hong Kong residents traveling from Macau and the Chinese mainland can return to Hong Kong without having to undergo mandatory quarantine. Now, proof of a COVID-19 test is still necessary, and it must be taken within 72 hours before arrival. And uh, there is a daily quota set for 6,000 residents, and that's split up among the three entry points into the city. So Shenzhen Bay has 3,000 spots. Uh, the, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge Hong Kong Port has 2,000, while Hong Kong Port has uh, Hong Kong's airport has 1,000 spots. And uh, these uh, people must apply for a quota through an online booking system. But there are exemptions for this scheme as well. Several places considered risky for the virus will be excluded, such as Yangzhou in uh, Jiangsu province or Shangchou city in Henan province. Now, this scheme originally launched last November, whereby Hong Kong residents from Macau and Guangdong province could return to the city without having to quarantine. And this was expanded to the rest of the Chinese mainland in April. But this scheme was largely suspended last month as a measure to prevent an outbreak from entering into Hong Kong's borders. So that meant that only residents from Guangdong province could enter. And authorities say the scheme is resuming now because the pandemic situation has stabilized in Hong Kong, Macau and the Chinese mainland. Meanwhile, starting next week, non-Hong Kong residents can also enter the city without having to quarantine. That's if they're traveling from Macau or Guangdong province. And this is under the Come to Hong Kong scheme. So for that, the daily quota is set for 2,000 people. Anchang, CGTN, Hong Kong.